Yo everybody, what's going on? Uh, it's Gutter Wolf again, and this is a quick look at the Ultimate Marvel Collection. Uh, it's Omnibus, it's around uh, 800 pages or so. You know, um, I really just grabbed this one, because, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it retails for 100 bucks. If you can see that. I don't know, hard to see. But anyways, yeah, retails for 100 bucks. I found it for 35, brand new. Uh, can't hate on that. Let's take the dust jacket off here. First things first. You got the front. It shows the different characters in the book. So what's kind of weird about this one is there's clearly, at least at the time of publication for this omnibus, there's not a lot of Ultimate Marvel out there. Um, so what they did, as you can see, it's kind of cool. You get the Ultimate Spider-Man 1 through 7, Ultimate X-Men 1 through 6, the Ultimates 1 through... Oh, one okay, I had somebody at the door. I was going crazy, but I'm back. Anyway, um, and then lastly, the Ultimate Fantastic Four, numbers 1 through 6. Because, you know, I have the Marvel first, like 1990s, and uh, Marvel now as well. And it has all the Marvel characters, but just a single issue, like the origin stories uh, for that particular decade or whatever. Um, so that one's, this one's a bit different in that. Um, this one also, it has the, man, I don't even know what I'd call it. It's just a different, different art style um, than the older comics are. It's actually more reminds me kind of like kids cartoons that like we my generation you know if you're in your late 20s early 30s or whatever might have watched as kids um because it, it really does it seems kind of kiddish uh not necessarily a bad thing i'm sure there's people out there who love it um but it seems like this the ultimate marvel was maybe made for younger kids or I don't know, maybe they're just trying to switch up their whole style, I don't know. Um, but I haven't read any of it, so I'm gonna reserve any judgment until then. Uh, if, you know, this is just a quick look, kind of check out the art style, see what we're looking at here. Um, some of the best isn't too big. Probably the medium, medium size. <clears throat> And, you know, it's got a good binding, like always. A little thinner than some of the other ones, but uh, that's okay. It should hold up just fine. I haven't had any issues with these omnibuses. They're really high quality. <clears throat> and let's see what we got in the back here. I haven't even looked. Oh, it's just like a black and white character illustration. It's pretty cool. I love to draw myself, so I like to look at these kinds of things. Um, let's see. Looks like, yeah, not much going on here. Anyways, that's it for this one, real quick. Um, I haven't even read a single page of it, like I said, so we'll see. But if you're interested, there it is. Uh, I would try to get it cheap if you're looking for it. Anyway, have a good one.